It's hard to imagine there are oceans in the solar system other than Earth, isn't it? However, planetary scientists are sure that we have numerous ocean worlds out there even though some may be submerged in thick sheets of ice rather than floating freely like the ones on Earth. Simply put, to avoid confusion, ocean worlds can range from planets, moons and even other rocky bodies in our solar system. Europa, Jupiter's moon, is at the top of that list with a 100 km deep ocean hidden beneath 10 to 30 km of ice. But that could only be the tip of the iceberg. Other moons in the outer solar system are thought to have vast oceans as well. So which ocean worlds are the most bizarre? How much different are they compared to Earth? And is it possible that this is a sign of life? Well, let's find out. Europa Underneath the solar system's most impenetrable snow globe, Jupiter's tiniest Galilean moon hides a worldwide ocean. Despite being a fraction of the size of our planet, Europa's saltwater ocean is estimated to carry more than twice the quantity of water found in all of Earth's oceans. The ocean might reach depths of 60 to 150 kilometers, that's 40 to 100 miles, with seafloor vents similar to those found on the early Earth. For obvious reasons, the oceans beneath Europa's surface have never been imaged or explored despite it being one of the most well-known ocean worlds in the solar system. Such a trip would be extremely difficult. Mohamed Nassif, a PhD student in aeronautical engineering at Georgia Tech who has worked on a Europa lander design, says that the surface ice on Europa has a temperature of 110 kelvins. He mentioned that the ice's hardness is comparable to that of a diamond. While Europa's surface is extraordinarily resistant, it is not known how deep it is, making the water beneath it even more mysterious. Europa's crust is estimated to be 15 to 25 kilometers, that's 10 to 15 miles thick, with minor variants depending on the area. Given the vast expanse of everything in space, that might not seem like much, yet the deepest hole ever excavated on Earth, Russia's Kola Superdeep Borehole, dropped roughly 12 kilometers, that's seven and a half miles. That project was cancelled because of its extreme malfunction and cost, so we still have work to do if we ever want to perforate Europa's diamond tundra. In the meanwhile, some progress has already been made. Europa Clipper, a NASA mission that will launch in 2024 and arrive in 2030, will explore Europa's ocean from afar and determine whether the planet has the appropriate conditions for life. Caitlin Ahrens, a NASA postdoctoral researcher at Goddard Space Flight Center, said Clipper will have 10 instruments, each having an important role. The spectrometers will help us find the life hotspots on Europa, while the chemical analysis instruments will be used to search for life. Enceladus Even with something as obscure as saltwater worlds, friendly rivalry can't help but extend all the way to Saturn. They're like humans that do not want to be outdone, wouldn't you agree? Though there are many neutral parties, Europa lovers and Enceladus fans are generally happy to argue with one another about which moon is more likely to house life. One of Enceladus' most appealing selling points is that some of its ocean sprays have already been sampled, with promising results that are impressive so far. While a number of spacecraft have visited Saturn's system, NASA's Cassini mission provided the most in-depth look into Enceladus' oceans. The spacecraft passed through the moon's plumes between 2008 and 2015, sampling its ocean wash directly. Even though it did not identify life, Cassini's discoveries have shed light on Enceladus's ocean, making it an even more intriguing target for future research. According to Ahrens, Cassini basically sniffed Enceladus's plumes. Not only did it discover evidence of liquid saltwater, but it also discovered that it was warm. Another important discovery was the presence of hydrothermal vents on the bottom of Enceladus's subterranean ocean. The tiny moon Enceladus flexes as Saturn and potentially the planet's moon Dion pull on it, forcing material from the vents to spew out of the cracks on Enceladus's southern hemisphere. Ocean spray explodes into space through these so-called tiger stripes. Though scientists are still analyzing Cassini data, it is evident that Enceladus' ocean contains molecular hydrogen, dubbed candy for microbes by NASA. 
as well as other life-supporting elements such as carbon dioxide and methane. On paper, it looks a lot like the conditions that permitted early Earth's ocean life to thrive. Unfortunately, no firm intentions to return to Enceladus have been disclosed by any space organization. However, more scientific snooping is needed to confirm that the Moon's hydrothermal vents are teeming with life. Titan Titan, dubbed Bizarro Earth, is one of the solar system's most underappreciated ocean planets. To be fair, it's easy to overlook what's going on beneath the surface of the Moon, which includes methane lakes and oceans. Kraken Mare, the largest of the latter, is a 305 meter deep, that's 1,000 foot deep, hydrocarbon pool. It has, without a doubt, earned its moniker. Titan's strange chemistry is precisely what makes its oceans, methane, ethane and liquid water, so fascinating and mysterious. Nitrogen and methane mix in the Moon's dense, hazy atmosphere to generate organic compounds which subsequently descend to the surface and interact with anything they come into contact with. Jinting Yu, a postdoctoral fellow at the University of California, Santa Cruz, who studies Titan, explained that there is an ocean beneath the organic layers on the surface. You can draw some water out of the ocean by slamming through the surface with a large impact. After that, a liquid pool will form for a while. Some scientists believe that the organics discovered on Titan augur well for the discovery of life in the planet's deep ocean. According to computer models, the Moon's liquid water ocean may include hydrogen and carbon, two essential building blocks for life. However, there will be abundant data from the Earth thanks to NASA's forthcoming Dragonfly mission, which is scheduled to launch in 2027. Using a quadcopter, researchers will look for indications of life on Titan, both in the atmosphere and in the planet's subsurface. Yu explained that Dragonfly was being sent for astrobiological reasons. Scientists expect it to fall on Titan's old rim and then hop around, which should reveal more about Titan's prebiotic chemistry and other possible activities. What Dragonfly will find in Titan's oceans is anyone's guess. However, the discovery of methane-eating microorganisms would be nothing short of life-changing. Triton The furthest reaches of our solar system, including the Neptune system, are sadly underexplored. Voyager 2 was the only spacecraft to visit in 1989. As a result, we have very little information on Triton, an intriguing moon that may have its own underground lake. Something in the mythological realm of the Roman sea god would undoubtedly be on brand for a secret ocean, don't you think? Despite the lack of data, theoretical models show that Triton could hold liquid water beneath its surface. Some of these models predict that tidal heating, caused by Neptune's gravitational pull, might warm Triton's innards to the point where a liquid ocean could be hidden. The mechanism is theoretically identical to that which occurs on Europa and Enceladus. However, the most persuasive and contentious evidence for Triton's ocean comes from a more than 30-year-old enigma. Voyager 2 witnessed black plumes blasting from Triton as it sailed by. As a result, some scientists have linked Triton to Enceladus. Others, on the other hand, believe that geysers were a one-time occurrence produced by sunlight striking on a specific area on Triton's surface. However, Triton's disappearing act is another of its enigmas that remains unsolved. According to Voyager photos, the Moon's surface appears to be geographically young and devoid of craters, which is evidence of a disappearing act that cannot be ignored. One theory proposes that liquid water is erasing the craters, implying the existence of a reservoir beneath Triton's crust. Triton, unfortunately, remains a scientific wildcard and will continue to be if no further missions are launched to explore it. While it's a good idea to have hope for the future, we still don't know a lot about our solar system's oceans, but we're discovering and learning more all the time. Indeed, we're on the verge of a thrilling new age in ocean world discovery. This thrilling new era of ocean world discovery is just right around the corner. We can expect new discoveries and new puzzles to emerge in the next few years when Europa and Titan get their own dedicated space missions. 
the JUICE mission of the European Space Agency will examine three of Jupiter's icy moons, including Callisto, a so-called dead moon that may actually contain a living ocean. So, even if it's a laborious slog against the tides of time, the search for more ocean worlds continues. If we do end up finding life on one of these ocean worlds, it has the potential to completely change our perception of the universe. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.